in motion. Third down and two. Akers bursts through. Cam Akers on the run for the touchdown. Oh, FSU's Cam Akers, the difference today. Breaks off that 42-yard run for a touchdown. The only touchdown of the second half for FSU is they hang on to win in Durham. Knowles have won six straight on the road. Hmm. How about that? Looking for something. Hello, everybody. Welcome to SEC Tonight. Hicken and Martin. We have. Let's start with the ACC. FSU trying to just win, right? Any way they can after all that's happened to them. Up at Duke today. It's football, not hoop, so you should be able to beat Duke, Dan. Ought to, yeah. <laughs> FSU started as good as they possibly could right down the field on their first drive for the first time this season. James Blackman hits Auden Tate, who bounces off the defensive backs, scores the touchdown. Brent, FSU's up seven zip. Hey, driving for more, and Blackman hit his first seven passes. This is his eighth. Good news, it was completed. Bad news, <laughs> the guy in the blue caught it. Duke snuffs out the FSU drive. Knowles still up 7-0. Kind of a rookie mistake there. At least miscommunication cost him at least a field goal. Yeah, Knowles ran for 228 on the day. Akers with 115. Jacquez Patrick with 98 more in the second half. Some power ball led to an Aguayo field goal. And FSU back up 10-3. Oh, give Duke some credit. They would come back and tie the game. Britton Brown ran it in for the score. What in the name of Christian Leitner's going on here? 10 to 10, right? Yeah, yeah and then, then on, on third and two, two, Akers hit that one. And Home yeah, he went 42. FSU goes up 17 10, goes on to the win, just their second of the season. But at this point, They'll take it, Brent. Yeah, absolutely. Say what you want about James Blackman, but he was accurate today. 18 for 21, 197, the Tate touchdown, and he did have the two interceptions. Noel stayed perfect against Duke. The Dukies have never beaten FSU. FSU perfect 20 and 0 all time against Duke in football. That's crazy. Yeah. And, and the if, Knowles yeah. now 2 and 0 in the state of North Carolina and 0 and 3 everywhere else. Next up for FSU Louisville at home next Saturday at noon. Here's reaction from Durham. They did a great job when they had two and two big stops. Wish we could have picked up that first down, third and two. But, you know, we, we grew up a lot. The young quarterback, after making two critical, man, had almost a flawless game and two critical mistakes, then hits two big third downs in that drive that we break back and play. And we're continuing to grow up. You know, Brent, I know they won. I know they had big plays. I know they only gave up 10 points. So why is it unsatisfying? I guess I'm just used to FSU winning 42 to 3. Yeah, it said I saw the clock strike zero for for Duke as they ran out of time yeah. trying to make a comeback at the yeah. end. I said, you know what? This is Florida State in 2017. Just the way it's going it to be, you know. Yeah. It's uh, nothing it's not, is easy for it's them. It's not all the Francois injury, is it? No, because he was 18 for now. He did cost him a bit with the two interceptions. A little bit. A little but, bit. Um, yeah, there's something off there. I've said from the beginning, it just feels like maybe it was the storm combined with Francois. Something's not right. Yeah. Something doesn't feel right with all the talent they have. They've just lost their mojo. Yeah. Because if you have some mojo, you win by a lot over and Duke. The defense only gave up 10 points, and I didn't think they were that good today. Yeah, so they gave what, a lot on the ground, didn't they, at times, yeah, I mean, right? They're moving. The, yeah. Duke's moving. The, look, Duke's not a horrible team, okay? Uh, but FSU beats Duke. F good FSU team beats Duke, no matter how good Duke is, by 25 to 35 points. Well, yeah, 42 to 10 it should have been, right? And or I you guess, think it would be, yeah. especially with your quarterback. You look up his stats, he goes 18 for 21 for 200 yards yeah. and a touchdown as well. Now, again, he did have the two picks. Uh, but I will give them this credit. Yeah. One, Cam Akers, back-to-back 100-yard -back games. Give the kid the ball. Ride him a little bit. Uh, I like what you have in Cam Akers. That's, that's what I'm saying. 25. Ride him. Yeah. Well, because they're now, mixing Patrick with Patrick. Ran, Patrick ran hard today. He's been running well, too. Yeah. But I still want to see more of Akers, and Blackman's doing a good job. Uh, but this is a good job by Jimbo Fisher, too, I think. Yeah. Because it's not like they laid an egg, mm -hmm. right? It was, they, their effort was there. So that's a good thing for Florida State to have some effort when you're one and three going to Duke, which you don't really get excited about. Right. Um, so maybe they can keep one in games. They're not. But heck, who knows? Maybe they'll beat Clemson now. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're two and three. And let's show you what's up for FSU over their next three games because, well, good news. Bet. Now, Louisville, more on them later, but they weren't very impressive today, right? They lost to the team that FSU goes to in two weeks. That would be at Boston College. And then suddenly... Syracuse, who was pretty impressive last night, right? Yeah, uh, very impressive. Yeah. They went over Clemson. We'll show you that a little bit later on. Yeah. But uh, it's topsy-turvy right now. Those three teams you would look at earlier in the year and say, oh, tough Louisville, easy Boston College, easy Syracuse. Well, now it almost looks maybe Louisville's easy. Boston College is easy. Syracuse? Hmm. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a weird uh, ACC right now. It's a weird college football day.